What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Today we will be covering something different and that thing is the game known as Assassin's Creed Unity. The long last Assassin's Creed game released in 2014, also known as the bad Assassin's Creed game because it had a pretty rough release at the start, but also known as the last Assassin's Creed game that truly represented the old era of Assassin's Creed games. In this video we will be comparing Unity with the newer Assassin's Creed games like Valhalla, Origins and many more and of course we're gonna answer the question is Assassin's Creed Unity even worth playing in 2023? Is it worth revisiting or for some people playing for the first time? With that being said grab some snacks and let's get right into it. Okay, so first things first, ladies and gentlemen, what did I mean by a bad Assassin's Creed game because it had a bad release? For those who don't know, when Assassin's Creed Unity first launched in 2014, the game was incredibly buggy. It had a lot of bugs and glitches and it was laggy, especially for players on PC. You could probably compare it to the Cyberpunk release. And coming from somebody who's been playing Assassin's Creed Unity on the PlayStation 5, I have not experienced a single bug so far in the game. It ran super smooth, there was no crashes, no lag, no phasing through walls, none of that. I don't know about PC, but if you're playing Assassin's Creed on a console in 2023, Happy New Year by the way, you shouldn't have a single problem with it. And as I was saying, the main thing that set people off this game were the bugs, right? The hype was really big when the game first launched and people had high expectations. And because of all the bugs, Unity didn't really live up to anybody's expectations. There is people that didn't get to experience bugs, but most people never truly got to experience what Unity really has to offer. Because if you ask me, Unity is still one of the best Assassin's Creed games ever made. And it truly is a representative of how the old games used to be like compared to the new ones like Valhalla for example. With that being said, let's get on the good side of things and what makes this game so good. I'm not gonna make this a 20 minute video and all I'm saying is from my own personal experience and my own opinion towards the game. I wanna kick it off with a story because I really enjoy the setting Assassin's Creed Unity is in. You play as this boy named Arno in the 19th or 18th century, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not sure, basically in France whenever the French Revolution was happening. And you as a player get to see how and why Arno became an assassin in the first place. Don't get me wrong now. Now, the story isn't like special from any other Assassin's Creed games, at least not from the Assassin's Creed games of that time. It's good, mostly for the matter that you get to see how Arno develops as a character and slowly find out that the reasons that he became an assassin are more personal than anything. But besides the story, the amount of stuff you can do in this game is insane. There is so many side missions to do and if you do them you get money and with money you can get more skills, customize your character, buy consumables. and many more of the sort, no, nothing special in particular. But even the side missions themselves are really cool and satisfying. I found myself doing one main mission and then another five side missions just because they're pretty easy and don't take long at all. And besides the side missions, Unity is so much alive. What does that really mean though? Well personally, I did not expect the city to be so full of people and so much happening at once if that makes sense. So you could just be free roaming around the city and you would see uh, two criminals bullying someone and you're supposed to kill them. Maybe a thief that's running away with somebody's money and you're supposed to stop him. Uh, maybe people protesting, uh, maybe somebody who needs help with something. Basically a lot of these interactable actions that really make Unity as a game basically never get boring for me. Before we do continue with the video, if you are enjoying it so far, feel free to hit that like button, it helps out a ton, and if you're new here and wanna keep in touch with us on the content, make sure to subscribe. And also, I'm really curious about this, let me know in the comments down below which is your favorite Assassin's Creed game. If it's Unity, why, and if it's not, uh, why not? With that being said, let's get back to it. 
Okay, so what I've said so far about Unity doesn't really make it stand out from the other Assassin's Creed games, right? Like, why would it be my favorite? Why would I find it special or better in any way? The only way to answer this question is, I think, if we take a look at the Assassin's Creed games from today's day and age. If we compare Unity with a game like Valhalla, for example. But before I even say anything, I want to mention that I have nothing against Valhalla or Origin. I think they're both extremely extraordinary games. But all I'm gonna say is that coming from somebody who's been an Assassin's Creed fan for so long, playing Valhalla did not feel like playing Assassin's Creed at all. I played Valhalla for about two hours, three hours-ish, it felt like I played a completely different game. And that's the main reason why Unity is the last representative of how good the Assassin's Creed games used to be. The stealth the gameplay. The assassin aspect was there, which is something that Valhalla does not really deliver. I want to be put in in a city, I want to have stealth missions, I don't want to be a viking, I want to be an assassin. I want to climb over rooftops and feel like an assassin, I want an assassin's creed game with a good parkour mechanic, I don't want to have superpowers. I don't want to be a god, I'm not playing god of war. I'm playing Assassin's Creed, and what I'm expecting from Assassin's Creed is on-point stealth, satisfying, beautiful combat, and missions that live up to people's expectations. But before everybody attacks me in the comments, I am well aware that Unity is nowhere near close to delivering all of those aspects I just mentioned. Uh, many people say that the story in Unity is one of the worst ones in Assassin's Creed. Part of me agrees with you, because I just said before, I don't love the story, for me it's good but I get why some people think that the story is terrible. A good example of a better story in an Assassin's Creed game would be Syndicate, which is, I think, the next Assassin's Creed game after Unity. I'm not sure, but let me know in the comments down below what Syndicate is about, because I can't really give my opinion on it since I haven't played. I think I've only played like an hour of the game. I barely got the gist of it. And the only reason I think that the story in Syndicate is better than Unity is that a lot of people told me that. Like, an awful lot. So if Syndicate is better than Unity? Let me know why you think so in the comments down below and which aspects is it better in. But if we get back to Unity, we all know that Unity's parkour system is not that good because it's really clunky and difficult to pull off and that doesn't make it that satisfying if you ask me. But the main reason I like Unity so much is because of its combat system, stealth, and of course how the game is paced. Unity really made me feel like a true badass, like I was a real assassin because of how well the stealth aspect of the game is made, all the combos you can do when fighting. Of course the combat is a bit all over the place, but it's pretty easy to counter attacks and if you time them right you can get some really cool moves. And another quick note I want to mention, this is not only about Unity but regarding most of the old Assassin's Creed games. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but the old Assassin's Creed games got better the more time passed, if that makes sense. Like, people back in the day didn't really think much of these games until Ubisoft switched to games like Valhalla and Origins, which are based more on RPG elements. Nowadays, people miss games like Unity and Syndicate and the other old Assassin's Creed games a lot. Let me know if I'm right or wrong. With that being said, I appreciate everyone who made it till the end of this video. Hope it was informative or entertaining to some of you. See you either in the next YouTube video or on the Saturday streams. Have a great start of 2023. Peace out.